What's up, everybody? It is Roche Ball, y'all, and welcome back to my gentle. Hi, you guys. I wanted to show you guys my braid, my hair, because I took my braids out last night, and <clears throat> I am um, five months, a little over five months, and I haven't had a perm, and I want to keep going. Meaning, I want to keep going without using perms because. I think now they're saying they're starting to cause cancer and plus it's thinning my hair is contributing to my the loss of my edges you know aside from pulling it too tight and you know all that tension I put on it and I will not be doing perms anymore or at least I'm gonna try to stay away from it which I've been doing really well because for a while I have been um wearing my braids and I've been putting certain things like I'm using a new product called Miel. It's a new product for me. Let me just say it like that. It's a new product for me and I bought the shampoo and the leave-in conditioner and my conditioner is on its way because I'm going to shampoo my hair, condition it, comb it out, detangle it, do what I got to do to get the dead hair off. Then when I get out the shower, I'm going to kind of towel dry it. Then I'm going to put the leave-in conditioner on. I don't own a blow dryer, so I usually let my hair air dry. I don't know how healthy or safe that is for black people's hair, but yeah. But I wanted to come on here, not to look woolly-headed on purpose, but just show you guys my hair. And like I said, the last perm I had was, I want to say, it was leaning towards the last week of August 2022. And it's been, let me see, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah. It's definitely been five months. A little over five months I haven't had a perm. No relaxer, no other chemicals. Um, and I think that's the first steps for me. It's gonna be my first steps of leaning towards a healthier hair journey. Is no more perms. Because I was addicted to the creamy crack. I was addicted to perms. I like the way it let my ponytail slick. I like the little edges that I had, the little swoop that I have, you know what I mean? I thought I was looking like Michael Jackson at one point. Yeah. And then I'm noticing a lot of people on YouTube, my sister, and they been cut out perms, you know what I mean? And they have a very, very good looking, nice, healthy head of hair, natural curl patterns. Is is my good look like spirals? It's beautiful, and as you can see, I still got permed hair towards the end. I don't know if y'all can see that, or I don't know what shows better. But y'all can still see the unhealthiness of my hair. All right, I actually should be shaving all of this off, but I'm a transition. I gotta have something to hold on to. And I say that because sometimes I like to put ponytails in and I have some hair clip extensions that I want to get. I'm probably not going to be able to get it this time, but the next time I get paid, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And because I still got to save money to get out of here and get my own place. Not get out of here like that, but like I got to get my own place. So I want to make sure I have at least my birthday is in June and it is February. I at least want to have close to over a thousand dollars saved by the time it's time for me to get my own place now what i'm doing right now is i'm looking and my sister's looking a little bit and i um yeah trying to get my own place and there a whole health set vibe natural stuff is gonna start in my home i'm getting rid of all of the unnatural chemically based soaps i'm getting rid of all kind of junk tvs junk food slowly i have to wing off of junk food and um fast food and i'm gonna start juicing and i'm gonna start doing a lot of like carrot juice type stuff because i want a healthier mind i want the healthier body i want the healthier nails skin and hair and i'm gonna start looking into some kind of vitamins I need to take. Like my mom had found this vitamin on Amazon and you put it in the refrigerator and you take like a, a little cup of it every day. And it's more better if your vitamins are juice, juicy or something like that because pills could just sit in your system and gummies may not do the trick. 
But if you take it as a juice or something that dissolves, it will work faster or it will work more better. and It will get everywhere that it needs to get to faster. And if you do take gummies or pills for your vitamins and they've been working for you, don't listen to me. And I'm not on here trying to tell y'all what to do. But for me, I won't be taking any gummies or pills for my vitamins. I want to drink my vitamins. You know what I mean? So I have to really look into finding some healthier vitamins. And I need vitamins that flush out all the toxins. I need to make a colonic appointment. All that. I'm I'm leaning towards being um, healthy, guys. Because I'm tired of being bald-headed. I'm tired of my skin looking like, is that another rash? You know what I mean? And I'm tired of feeling like, oh, I feel bloated and unhealthy. And, you know. And along with that. I want to make sure that whatever I put in my body is healthy. And it has to start today, actually. It can't really start. Even if I can't totally wing off and stop everything cold turkey, knowing that I have the mind to do something and I start with the littlest stuff is is something. I don't have to do everything all at once because I made the mistake and cutting off everything and tried the plant-based diet for a week and made myself very, very sick. I felt malnourished because <laughs> I was eating beans and rice, spinach, beans, greens, beans, thinking that I was really doing this plant-based diet very, very well. And I wasn't making myself sick because just like when a person haven't worked out for, for a long time, you don't want to go to the gym and start lifting all crazy. And then you got to ease back into things. Even if you already know what to do, the things start to come to you. Hi. Hi. No school today? No school. It's Saturday. Yeah. It's Saturday. There's no rules. There's no school. There's no school tomorrow? No, it's Sunday. <laughs> it's my nephew. Um, Yeah, so pretty, pretty much I forgot what I was saying, but I, I'm going to flush out all the kind of toxins that I have, and it's starting with from head to toe, from mine to my toe. You know, whatever you do up here on the inside, it's going to show on the outside. Whatever you do right here on the inside, it's going to show on the outside and all the way down to your toes. So I'm going to find some liquid vitamins. Even if it's nasty, like, you know what, girl, just suck it up. Go take some kale shots or some celery shots. And if I end up going with my mom and my sister today, I'm going to ask, can we stop at Juice It Up? I really need like a kale carrot type smoothie thing and I'm, I'm serious about making a better journey and it have to start with not until i get my own apartment i have to kind of start now i have to have that mind and once you have that mind you get that adrenaline and that drive to do stuff and you do it and sometimes you don't follow through it's like keep if you want to live you got to keep going you know cut out all the extra stuff even people that you don't want you know and i don't know what they have to do with me talking about my hair journey but it just, I just decided to expand and talk about everything. I don't know. Um, even what I do to my skin, I gotta find some nice skin washing soap and then turn around. I have to put my creams on because my mom and my sisters are so consistent with taking care of your skin, taking care of your hair, and taking care of your nails and all that kind of stuff. And I'm the only one that's like, oh, okay, that's cute. I, I get there when I get there, you know. And I don't want to get left, so I'm gonna start. What I know I need to do for me right now. And I'm just going to share with them. This is what I've done. If, the, if I start to see a change, I'm like, this is what I've done. Sodas are so good. Artificial fruit juices may be so good, y'all. But I would like to get back to juicing. Um, the carrot juice. I can drink a whole cup of carrot juice. I don't care if it has carrot skin in it. Whatever. Give me, give me some. So even if I end up going with them or even if I go to the mall or whatever, I got to probably get a salad um start eating breakfast even if i can't eat breakfast because i know for sure when i move i'm gonna turn my breakfast into like smoothie because i can't i can't really do breakfast i know it's a brain food and it's the most important meal of the day because that's what gets your day started you know eating wheaties and stuff but to me i want to do like a you know incorporate more vegetables in my meals and it's okay to have you know a smoothie every now and then you do need food but i want to make sure i'm keeping in mind 
is this going to help me? Is this going to contribute to a long, healthy life? You know? And like I said, everything is not going to happen cold turkey. But I'm going to wing off. Slowly wing off things. First things first, I got to do something to this wig. You see the gray strands? You see it? Look, look. Well, did you can see? Well, you can't really see it. Look at, look at. You can see gray strand right there. Some in here. In a bush, bush. <laughs> I'm keeping my gray hair. I'm not dying it. Even if I start growing gray hair in the middle first, I don't care. Lord, give me whatever you want. I really um. I like my curl pattern. I can see this is where the new growth started. Like I said, five months without a perm, y'all. I give myself a pat on the back. And taking a conscience, conscious step and making that conscious decision to a healthier hair journey, to a healthier body journey, to healthier teeth, to healthier, like I said, I'm getting there. I got my insurance going. But I got, you know, every little thing. Is going to take time and you don't want to just start doing things and then you end up being weak or sick because you did things prematurely and it was not really natural. But start winking off things, even if it's one at a time. Like, okay, for me, my first step, no more perms for a better hair journey. No more perms. And that's that. I don't care if it's, oh, this part will lay down. I need something to slick it. Got to be glue if you have to. And you can just take some conditioner or shampoo and just keep rubbing your finger on that hard part. And then that's it. But look at my edges. I don't know if there's any difference. But yes, you guys. I want to start a healthier me. And I'm accountable because I said it. And I got to record it. So... And I need to incorporate some exercise move. Even if I go on a treadmill for 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes every day, it's something. It's a start. I feel like it's a start. You know, if you start something and you're consistent with the little that you start, then it will grow into something big as you gradually go along. And then you'll be able to like A and then eventually A, B and then A, B, C, then A, B, C, D. That's how I learn. Like I told my sister, she wants to teach me how to drive. And I just said, that's how I learned. And she said, that's how I teach. And I'm thinking, I'm so happy because some people want you to do A to Z. And it's like, wait a minute, aren't we supposed to start A, then B, then C? <laughs> but that's just how I learned. So I'm going to use that same technique with what I think about and then like my mind. I mean, my literally my hair journey, my health journey. And... um starting a healthier hair journey y'all it definitely starts with me you know people take a picture of them and it will say it'll be like this of me right and it'll say 2023 and then 2024 my afro would get bigger like maybe like this being realistic and then maybe like that and then maybe like that i'm, I'm trying to get me some shaka khan hair okay even in the middle it's very almost dreadlocky because I don't really take care of the middle part of my head. I just take care of the perimeter on the outside just to get a thicker ponytail. And I'm wondering how come the it's not slick and it won't lay down and you know, yeah. So like I said, um first things first, no perms and keeping my head out of keeping my hands out of my hair. Even when I do stuff like this, I could be stressing it, you know? I just took out my braids. And in the past when I used to use creamy crack, look at me thinking I'm I've been without perms for years. Back in the day when I used to use creamy crack on a regular basis, which was once every month. That's why I'm bald headed. Let me tell y'all. I look like Susie. I look I almost look like Cynthia from Rugrats. But Susie. Um I used to take out my braids, put a perm in right away. And I will see a grip of hair coming out in the shower. And I'm thinking, oh, that's just bad hair. This is dead hair. No, that could have been healthy hair. But when I put that perm in and rinsed out all of that relaxer, clumps of my hair was coming out. And I'm thinking, oh, that's all that dead hair. And then when I comb my hair out with my Y2 comb, a lot of hair was coming out of that too. 
I've never had long, long, luxurious hair. Like I was Striganona or something. But I, I, like I said, I, I've damaged my own hair. I used to shave my own edges because I hated the way it feel without perms. Like, ugh, nappy. It's bally, ugh, and it's like curly. Yeah, I hated my hair. I know hate is a strong word, but I hated the fuck out of my hair. I hated it. The texture, the length, the color, I hated it. But now I'm going to work with this. And I'm going to make a healthier choice. So, I'm going to start this healthier journey. My mind and my hair. That's working on the inside and working on the outside. Because whatever is on the inside is going to show on the outside. In case you forgot. And in case you didn't know. So if my mind gets right, even the things that I think about, maybe that can contribute to great health growth. Maybe that can do something better. You never know what God can do. Maybe that can do something better than what oils and chemicals and, I mean, oils and, and you know, Believe in conditioners and stuff can do and using certain hair products. I don't think you have to be a professional hairdresser to know how to grow your own hair. I mean, you can't afford to go to a hairdresser. And right now, I can't. I'm going to use what I, like I said, YouTube has been my best friend when it comes to how to crochet. When it comes to how to put, you know, locks in and stuff. Even though if I ever wanted dreadlocks and like real dreadlocks, I would actually go professionally get it done. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with them. I was thinking about dyeing my hair. But I, mm -mm. I've, I've done so much damage to my hair, y'all. It's not even funny. Now, I would definitely dye my hair. Actually, I, I, I can dye it. I can definitely dye my hair. And I think I might, I think I may dye my hair. I'm thinking about dyeing it, but it has to, I want to dye all of it, all of it, one color, and let my roots grow in the right way. I just want to try it, to see what it do, to see what it does, I just want to try it. I want to make a difference, guys, but who knows, I may cut all this off again, and Start all over again. Who knows? I may do something wild and crazy like that. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I want to start a new healthier hair journey. First things first, everything up here. My mind. The things I look at. The things I eat. Because all that is going to contribute to how you look on the outside. And I'm no health guru. But I'm having a fuck it moment. And a fuck it moment is shut up and do it. Because it's not going to get done with you just talking about it. So, first things first, no perms. Five months with no perms, I'm going to keep going. And once I've made it to a year, I can't do perms no more. Once I have stopped something for a year, I that's it. Does that make sense? Like, once I stop something long enough and haven't had a need or a craving for it, I don't need to invite it back into my life. And that's the same thing with men, but that's a bit of a struggle for me. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And um, I will see you guys in my next one. As I always say, y'all pray for me. I'm going to pray for y'all. And we're going to pray for each other. All right. Bye.